Lord. Good morning. Praise be to God. You may have your seat. My name is uh, Mrs. Mwaneki or Nancy Waboy Mwaneki. I'm saved. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. He has been so good to me. He has been faithful since I got saved. He has been walking with me and sustained me in his salvation. Praise be to God. I would like to invite uh, Mrs. Reverend so that we may continue together. I may use any language, whichever language that the Lord will help me to be fluent to bring the message, I will use it. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Eh, ile luga bwana atanisaidia kulete ujumbe alionipa kwenu ndio nitakayo itumia. Amen. Amen. You can greet the church our Mrs. Reverend. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ya asubuhi jema nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. Nazidi kunirida na kunihifadhi. Nazidi kumtumainia katika safari ya binguni. Amen. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Nimepata kibali kuwa bere zenu asubuhi ya leo. I have found favor to be to be before you this morning. Najua si sistahili kusimama mahali hapa. I don't deserve to stand here. Maana pahali hapa pametegewa mchugaji. Because this praise belongs to the priest. The servant of God who has been anointed to serve in this altar. Mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye amewekelewa mafuta kutumika katika haya madhabahu. Nilikuwa ninachukua jambo hili na kuliganisha na wakati I was comparing this thing umekaribishwa na mtu kwake. With the time that you have been welcomed to somebody in his home ana chumba cha kulala kimoja one bedroom ako na chumba cha kulala kimoja na amekualika mahali pale and he has invited you there ikifika usiku kulala and when it reaches time for sleeping anaanda bedroom vizuri he prepares the bedroom anakuachia ulale mahali pale comfortable and he leave you there to sleep comfortably na yeye anakuja kulala mahali hapa sitting room Uh, na anakuja kurara katika nyumba ya uh, sitting Bona asifiwe Amen How do you see that Unaonaje hivyo Si ni heshima kubwa sana Yes it is honor Hata unakosa maneno ya kusema asubuhi Even you lack what to say in the morning How hivyo ndivyo ninapo ninavyochukulia madhabahu haya That's how I take I take this altar imetegewa our referred it has been made for our referred aliyetiwa mafuta kuhudumu mahali hapa who has been anointed to serve here na amenipa ni ni kudumu mahali hapa and he has given me to minister here na yeye ameketi mahali pale and he has sat down to listen ninasikia tu kushukuru na kunyenyekea mbele za bwana i feel to give gratitude and to be humble before the lord and i feel so much honored na ninasikia nimeheshimika sana may god bless our reverend eh mungu ambariki reverend wetu i know that uh, in that office yes in that office na wale wote wako katika hiyo ofisi may god bless you so much mungu awabariki sana bwana yesu asifiwe Amen. Nina ujumbe wa Bwana ambao amenipa asubuhi ya leo. I have the message of the Lord this morning. Na ninaamini ya kwamba tutabarikiwa. And I know we shall be blessed. Na kabla sijaendelea kuna jambo moja lakini haliko kwa ujumbe wangu. It is not part of the message. Before I continue, I have something ambayo si ya ujumbe wa siku ya leo. Kuna kipindi nimekuwa nikiwaza. There is some time I was meditating about the uh, that the bronze snake kuhusu ile nyoka ya shaba wakati huu tunapofikiria kuhusu pandemic hii eh, at this time tunafikiria kuhusu ugonjwa huu wa covid 19 na wakati mchugaji alikuwa na substitutisa ya kwamba tuende tukadungwe tuka ile shindano and when the reverend was telling us to go for the vaccine nikawa katika ule mvutano niende nisiende 
I was there thinking whether I should go or not. Na nikiwa katika shughuli zangu za nyumba jambo likanijia. And when I was in my daily chores something came to me. Nikawa nikitafakari kuhusu ule nyoka wa shamba. I was meditating about the bronze snake. Na kwa muda mrefu nilikuwa najiuliza kuna watu kweli waliumwa na zile nyoka na wakakataa kutazama ile nyoka wakafa. And in a long duration I was asking myself were there people who did not look at the snake and then they died? Maana walipomuliria Mungu Musa akaambiwa tengeneze nyoka wa shamba. Because when they cried to the Lord God told them Moses was told to make a blows snake. Na wakabu, yuri ata, ata na ile nyoka atazame nyoka wa shamba atapona. And they were told whoever was bite by the serpent to look at that bronze snake and he was healed. Na nikawa nikijiuliza kwa muda mrefu inawezekana kuna mtu alingumwa na ile nyoka akakataa kuitazama. And I was asking if there was anybody who who was bitten by that serpent and did not look at that bronze snake. Na nilipokuwa ninatafakari katika tu ya wiki and i was meditating in the middle of the week na nikawa nikisikia ndani yangu nikisaidiwa hivi i was being helped this inawezekana kuna watu walikuwa miongoni mwa hao wa israeli maybe there are people among the israelites waliongumwa na hao nyoka who were beaten by snakes na wakaulizana and they ask themselves huyu Musa ambaye ametengeneza huyu nyoka wa shamba this Moses who has made this blown snake na anatuambia tukiumwa na nyoka tutazame ile nyoka ametengeneza and he is telling us that when we are bitten by the snake we look at that the snake that he had made huyu tu sio yule alikuta tumetengeneza mugu wetu mfano wa kandama he is the one that who made who who, who came and when we had made a bad calf na alipokuta tumetengeneza kamugu yetu ya kadama akaichoma. And when he, when he found that he had made we had made that bronze that that, that image calf, he destroyed it. Badala ya ugane na sisi tuabudu kale ka Mungu ya dama, instead of coming that we worship that image, ameichoma, he burnt it. Akaichoma ikawa majivu, he burnt it to ashes. Na hiyo majifu akachanganya na maji. And those ashes he added it with water. Ni kama anatutengenezea uji. <laughs> As if he was making porridge for us. Na tena akaturazimisha tupage laini na vikombe. And, and he made us to to to, to, make, to make line with cups. Na akatupatia tukunywe ile majifu. And he, he gave us those ashes to drink. Na sasa die huyu ametokea And now he is here. Ametengeneza mugu wake wa nyoka. He has made an image of snake. Anatuambia kitukingato twende tukaabudu mugu wake. And he's telling us that when we are beaten we we Na pray his god. Naendelea. And I was continuing. Na tiha wa jamaa wakasema hivi. And those people said over my dead body. Over my dead body. I will not look. <laughs> Sita angaria. I will not go and bow to that snake. Sita inamia hiyo nyoka. Na nikasikia nikiulizwa. Na nika au. Oh. <laughs> Je, walikufa? And did they die? Na mimi nakuuliza asubuhi ya leo. I'm asking you this morning. Did, did they die? Di, walikufa? Eh, hey, over my dead body I will not. <laughs> Nikiwa nimekufa sita inamia hiyo. Bwana atusaidie. Amen. Nilipofika hapo, when I reached there, nikafanya vile Mungu alinisaidia. I did what God had had helped me. We have the vaccine here. Tuko na hiyo chanjo. We will, will we die? Tutakufa. We are the same people who prayed to God that he may give us a solution. Ni sisi tuliomba Mungu atupatie suruhu. I know maybe this is the the, the bronze snake that has been raised up. Na labda hii ndiyo nyoka ya shaba ambayo imeinuliwa. Are you are told that they are advised by the government we should be we should go and be injected. Na hata tumeambiwa na serikali tuende tuchanjwe. Are you are there? Na tuko hapa. We are saying. Na tunasema. Of our dead body. Nikiwa nimekufa ndiyo nitaenda. May God help us. Mungu atusaidie. Tafakari hayo. <laughs> Meditate that. Tuingie katika ujumbe wa asubuhi ya leo. Aya, let us look at the word of God this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bwana akawa akinisaidia. God was helping me. Ukitaka kujua mambo hayo ya bronze snake na yule nyoka wa shaba Exodus 32:19. Hapo uh, ndipo okay. tulipo tuna 
Hapo utapata hiyo damu aliyetengenezwa na Waisraeli na katika Numbers 21 verse 4 utakuta the bronze snake. Amen. Utatafakari hayo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. The message of God today is about restoration. Uh, ujube wa Mungu siku ya leo ni kurejeshewa. The theme is the, the God will restore. Ya kwamba Mungu ataturejeshea. What is to restore? Kurejeshewa ni nini? Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kurestore, kurejeshewa ni kurudisha katika ile hali ya mwanzo. It is to take thing back to, to where it was in the to beginning. To bring back that thing to its former condition. Kurudisha kitu vile ilikuwa wakati wa mwanzo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ni kama kitu ambacho kimeharibiwa It, it is like something that has been destructed. Na hali yake imeharibika. Its form has been destroyed. Na sasa haiko katika ile mfano wa mwanzo. And it is not in the in the in the first form. Mbona asifiwe? Amen. Nafikiri unapata hiyo picha vizuri. I think you are getting the picture. Na sasa hiyo restoration and so hiyo kurejeshewa. Ni kama kurenovate ni kama kutengeneza uwai kutana na nyumba imechakaa ilikuwa na rangi lakini sasa baada ya kukaa imechakaa it is like renovating a house na wakati imechomwa na jua imekuwa rangi yake imechakaa and the time that it has been destroyed by the sun na mwenye hiyo nyumba anaweza amua ku renovate the owner of that house can renovate it again na inategenezwa inakuwa sasa ni nyumba tena mpya and it it is being it, it is being <laughs> inatengenezwa and then it, it comes to a new form amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen hallelujah We are talking about restoration this morning. Tunaongea kuhusu kurejeshewa asubuhi ya leo. And God has promised us this morning that he will restore. Na Mungu ametuahidi asubuhi ya leo ataturejeshea. Maybe there is something you had before and it has been destroyed. Labda ulikuwa na kitu hapo mwanzoni na sasa imeharibika. And the Lord today and this morning is telling us about restoring. Na Mungu siku ya leo anatuongeleza kuhusu kuturejeshea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ningependa tusomewe katika kitabu cha Luke in the book of Luke. We are going to read in the book of Luke. Our uh, elder Baba Martin utatusomea Luke chapter 13 from verse 11. Baba Martin read for us in the book of Luke 13 from verse 11. that in verse verse 11 Natazama tazama palikuwa na mwanamke aliyekuwa na pepo wa udhaifu muda wa miaka kumi na minane naye amepindana hawezi kujinyosha kabisa Yesu alipomuona alimuita akamwambia mama umefunguliwa katika udhaifu wako akaweka mikono yake juu yake naye akanyoka mara hiyo akamtukuza Mungu verse 14 amen fikisha hapo bwana asifiwe tumelisoma neno la bwana katika hicho kitabu cha Luke chapter ha- 13 verse 11 we have read the word of god in that book of luke from verse that Luke 13 from verse 11 Na neno linasema kuna kulikuwa na huyu mama and the word says there was this woman La Biblia yangu ya Kiingereza inasema ati alikuwa amedhoofishwa na spirit 
kiroho. And the Bible says that he had been crippled by by an evil spirit. Kwa miaka 18. For 18 years. Na neno linasema ya kwamba huyu mama hangeweza ku yani hangeweza kujinyoosha. And the word of God says that she could not straighten up. Huyu mama hakuzaliwa akiwa amejipinda. She was not born being bent. Lakini kwa kati muda ulikuwa unasonga ama katika maisha hayo. But as the times goes by, spirit ya maroho chafu furani ikamshika ikamuteka nyara. An evil spirit took took control of her. Na kajipida mugogo hangeweza kuinuka. And she bent her, her her back so that she could not stand up. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yaani amejikuja kiasi ya kwamba hangeweza kuinuka, kukujwa. She had bent up such that she could not straighten up. Niko nasoma Biblia ya Kikuyu inasema ni hashikete. I I read the, the Kikuyu Bible says that she she was bent completely. Sio ile mama ama mzee akizeeka na inama kidogo. It is not just, it is not like an old person how he, how he or she bent. Bona asifiwe. Amen. Ni ile kujikuja kabisa. It is bending completely. Hallelujah. Amen. Bona asifiwe. Amen. Na kwa hivyo huyu mama kuna mambo mengi hangefanya. And so this woman there are many things that she could not do. Huyu mama wakati labda wa kusifu hage sifu. So even when people were praising she could not praise. Huyu mama wakati labda wa ku wa, wa kufurahia ama kuhagi tuseme bwana yake hageweza. <laughs> Maybe even time of hugging her husband she could not do it. Na alikuwa na maisha magumu sana. And so she has a very difficult Lakini life. Lakini namshukuru Mungu maana wakati aliingia katika hekaru. But I thank God because when Jesus came to the synagogue wakati huyo mama aliingia katika ile hekaru. Oh, when when the woman went to the temple na akakutana na Yesu and met Jesus. Na Yesu akajua ya kwamba ni pepo liko limempinda. And Jesus knew that she was bound by a spirit. He was set free. she was set free. Aliweza kuwekwa hulu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Sijui ni wapi katika ma- maisha haya umekutana na mambo ikakupinda. I don't I don't know it is where in this life you have met things that has made you to bend. Umekuwa na maisha mazuri. You had good life. But at the course of the time na unapoendelea katika maisha unakutana na kitu like that spirit kama hiyo roho na umekatisiwa tamaa na unasikia you are discouraged ni kama umegogo yani umegoga mwamba it is like you have hidden a lock and you are not able to continue again na unashindwa kuendelea the word of god this morning is telling us that he will restore neno la mungu linatuambia ya kwamba atatulejeshea This morning I want to tell I want to tell you that the Lord will restore Asubuhi leo nataka kukuhakikishia ya kwamba Mungu atakurejeshea What the devil has destroyed on the way Kila kitu ambacho shetani ameharibu katika safari And what the devil has taken from you Na kila kitu ambacho shetani amechukua kwako The Lord is telling us this morning that he will restore Mungu anasema ya Yes Yoeli Oh tusome katika kitabu cha Yoeli Mbili. Baba Martin are you there? Joel chapter 2 some from verse 23. kitabu cha Joel chapter 2 verse 20 20 and 23 20 amestarehe na kutoshereka and they were in their comfortable zones but all of a sudden lakini kwa muda bwana asifiwe amen ni kama kukatokea kitu and it came something na kukawa hakuna mvua There was no rain. Ukame ukazidi. There was drought. Na mazao yao ikakuliwa na na zige. And the harvest were eaten by locusts. Wakaa kama watu wamekuwa desperate. 
the, and they became people ambao hawakuwa na tumaini. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Ninaona huu ujumbe ulikuwa wa watu ambao walikuwa desperate. The, the, this message belonged to people who had despaired. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Maana ni kama watu ambao hawana chochote. Because they are, they are like people who have nothing. Maana neno linasema ya kwamba Mungu alikuwa ananenea kwamba nitarejesha. Na God was telling me I will restore. Kilicho kuwa kimeharibiwa nitarejesha. Whatever was being destroyed I will restore. Na hata mfua nitanyesha. And even lane will lane. Hawa ni watu walikuwa desperate. These people had despaired. Unaweza kuwa uko mahali pale uko desperate mahali fulani. Maybe you are discarded somewhere Uko mahali hapa unasikiza ukiwa mahali popote pale and you are very desperate Maybe you are hearing the message and you are feeling so low Especially kama hiyo miaka tumepita ya kusubiriwa na pandemic ya corona uh, Like the years we have we have spent by this pandemic of corona Wengine biashara zao zimeharibika na zimerudi chini Some business have gone so low Wengine hata hali yao ya kiroho ikarudi chini maana makanisa zilifungwa. Even some people their spiritual life went down because churches were being closed. Wengine walikuwa wazuri sana wa praise and worship lakini wakati makanisa ilifungwa wakadidimia. Others were praise and worship members and when the churches were closed they did not serve again. Wengine walikuwa wahubiri wakubwa sana. Others were great preachers. Wengine walikuwa manabii. Others were prophets. Lakini katika kuendelea corona ikatokea. And when uh, and as they were continuing corona came. Na sasa ukawa sasa huna mwelekeo you are desperate. And so they did not have any direction they are just desperate. Na sasa huna matumaini. Uh, they are they are desperate. They are in despair. Neno la Bwana asubuhi ya leo inasema ya kwamba anaturejeshea. The word of God is telling us that it, he God will restore. Na hata kwa unajiuliza hata labda hata unajiuliza nani nini iliyetendeka kwangu? And even lab, you are asking yourself what happened to me? Wakati ukiogosa worship hapa watu wanaanza kujazwa wana roho. Uh, the time you are reading worship and people were filled with the Holy Spirit. Na sasa umejikuja mahali kama yule mama alijikuja. And you have you, you have bent yourself like the crippled woman. Unaanza kujiuliza na sasa mimi ni wanini? And you are asking yourself I'm, I'm of no use. Ha, wengine hata makanisa ilifugwa kabisa. Even some churches were closed completely. Sasa wale wachugaji wakakaa tu labda wakaingia kufanya biashara zingine. And those preachers went to other businesses. Maana wakati makanisa ilifugwa waedi kanisani washirika labda wakatoweka. Because when the churches were closed, their fellowshipers went away. Na sasa labda wewe ni mchugaji umekaa you are desperate sasa hauna lingine. And even you are a pastor and you are there and you are desperate you have nothing else. Ninasema hivi maana ninajua ujumbe unaenda bali. I'm st- I'm saying this because I know this message is is going far. Na maybe wewe ni mchugaji labda utanisikia ni kinena. And if you are a pastor somewhere you will, you will, you are hearing me talking. The Lord will restore you. God will restore Mungu atakurejeshea. The Lord will restore you a gift. Mungu atarejesha kipawa ambacho amekupatia. Utarejeshewa huduma uliyokuwa nayo. You will, you will get back the ministry that you had. Utarejeshewa labda biashara yako Mungu ataifufua tena. Your business will be restored again. Unajua ni wapi umejipinda katika maisha yako? You know where you have been bent in your life. Lakini hata walifutwa kazi. Some people even they were they were chased from their jobs. Maana wakati kuli kuja ya kwamba hata biashara zingine zitafungwa and even other businesses were closed completely maybe you are in a certain hotel na sasa ukavutwa kazi maana sasa mahoteli zimefungwa and the work went away because the, the hotel was closed yule mgoka ukajipida na hauwezi kuinuka tena and so you are back bent and it cannot straighten up again i'm giving you hope this morning ninataka kukutia moyo asubuhi ya leo as the lord has sent me to say to you kama vile mungu ameniambia niwaambie that he will restore you mungu atakurejeshea you will be restored utakuwa wakurejeshewa somebody shout amen amen haleluya amen haleluya amen Yes, the Lord will restore. Mungu atakurejeshea. Ninapoelekea kumalizia. As I wind up, ninataka kusema hivi. I want to say this. Kuna step 4. There is four steps. 
kupokea restoration for you to get restoration bwana yesu asifiwe amen eh hakuna mtu hataki ku There is nobody that does, doesn't like to be restored. Lakini nazo hatua za kupokea urejesho ni gani? And in this restoration there is steps. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Step ya kwanza ni humility. Aya. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hatua ya kwanza ni unyenyekevu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kujijue mwenyewe you know yourself. Uh, ujijue mwenyewe nilikuwa ninatafakari kuhusu hii humility i was meditating upon humility nikamkumbuka yule mwana mpotefu yule kijana and, and i remember the prodigal son wakati alikuwa anakula na nguruwe and he was eating with the pigs na ilipofika mwisho and when it reached to the end akaza sasa kujijua he realized himself na akajiuliza and he asked himself kwa nyumba ya baba yangu in my father's house ana watumishi wangapi he has many servants wanakula na kunywa na kuchacha they, they eat and cherish there na mimi huku ninakufa na jaa and here i'm dying of hunger akawa katika hali ile sasa ya ku kujijua yeye mwenyewe he came to his full realization i recognize yourself that you are nothing na akajielewa ujielewa baba ni bure hallelujah amen Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nilikuwa ninakumbuka wakati mmoja I was remembering kuna mtu mmoja alikuja kazini kwetu kitabu kidogo. There was a certain person who came to our job. Jioni jioni tukifunga. In the evening when we were closing. Akacha akiwa amekibia bio na ni mzee. He came learning. Akaniambia ninakutafuta mama nyaga. And he told me that I was looking for you Mama Nyaga. Alikuta tumefunga murango sasa tunataka kuweka padlock. He came when we had already closed the door we were, we were about to put the padlock. Nikamuuliza ni nini? And I asked him what what is the matter? Akaniambia nimetukana mtu. And he told me that <laughs> Na hajaokoka. Na and he was not saved. Nikamuuliza umemwambia nini? And I asked him what did you tell him? Akaniambia amekutwa na mtu fulani and he told me somebody came to me alikuwa kwa duka and I was in the shop. Huyu mtu akamkuta kwa duka akakutana sasa wote wawili and they met together. Yule mama akamuuliza huyo mzee and that woman asked that man na umepoteaje fulani and you are so lost so and so akamwambia mimi and he said sina ga shughuli na na tenants i don't have business with tenants mimi ni, mara, ni rafiki wa marad road <laughs> i am a friend to the rad roads man how do you hunipatia kazi because they are the people who give me job sasa yeye alimwambia hivyo ili na yeye amrudishie vibaya and so he was telling that woman so that she may respond harshly lakini yule mama alimwangalia but that woman looked at her akatoka tu akaenda and just went away hiyo kitu ikaanza kumkura ndani that thing started disturbing him in the heart ninataka uelewe kuhusu humility i want to speak about humility hiyo sasa hiyo kitu ikaanza kum kumunenea ndani that thing started disturbing him slowly inside umefanya vibaya that i have done bad sasa ni jioni anashidwa niende wapi akanisaidie now it is the evening and he is looking for help akaja bio sasa kunielezea and so he came to me na hapo sasa tukapata chance ya kumhubiria yule mzee and and we got a chance to preach to that man tukafuga duka we close the shop tukamuketisha chini and we tell him to sit down na mme wangu Uh, with my husband jana wangu wa kazi stano mnamjua and even stano who is my employer uh, yes tukaanza kuhubiria yule mzee we preached that man mzee akaanza kulia that man cried machozi na makamasi zote he started weeping tukamununulia hadi kachifu tukamvumia na neno <laughs> we bought for him hand kachifu sasa hiyo dio unajijua kuna mahali unataka kurekebisha that is the, when you reach to your full realization 
Na kuzangaza ni kwamba tulimuuliza tukuombe kuokoka. <laughs> Amazing we told him we pray for him to get saved. Akatuambia ni obeni Mungu anisamehe kuongea vibaya lakini wokofu ni baadaye. He told me that we pray for him because of speaking bad things but not salvation. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Hiyo sasa ndio step ya kwanza. That is the first step. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Step ya pili ni maombi. Uh, the second step is prayers. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Ukisoma katika kitabu cha 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7. When you read in the book of 1 Peter and verse 7 Inasema ya kwamba you cast your anxiety or cares unto him. Inasema ya kwamba tuweke mizigo yetu kwa Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kupitia maombi. Through prayers. Eh, Bwana hahitaji ukuje na kiorodha kirefu. God does not need a very big list. Anakujua. He knows you. Just cast it unto him. Kwa hivyo peana yote kwa Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hiyo ni step ya pili. Hiyo that is the second step. U, unapoelekea kwa urejesho. When you go when you are going to be restored. Step ya tatu ni communion or fellowship with the God. Eh, jambo la tatu ni ya kwamba uwe na ushirika mzuri na Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Eh yeah, you seek the, the, the face of God. Utafute uso wa Bwana. And live in his presence. Na ukae katika uwepo wa Bwana. Rafiki baba Martin tutatusomea katika kitabu cha Psalms 27. Eh, let us read in the book of Psalms 27. Zaburi 27. Twenty-seven and verse eight. Zaburi ni mstari ule wa nane. Tusome. Zaburi ishirini na saba aya ya nane. Ulipo sema nitafuteni uso wangu. Moyo wangu umekuambia bwana uso wako nitautafuta. Amen. Tusomee saburi 105 Tusomeni Zaburi 105 aya ya 4 Mtakeni Bwana na nguvu zake. Utafuteni uso wake siku zote. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Eh, hiyo ndio ni step ya tatu. That is the third step. E, kutafuta uso wa Bwana. Seeking the face of the Lord. Kila wakati uwe ukae katika uwepo wa Bwana. Always to stay in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ndio step ya tatu sasa ya kuelekea kupokea urejesho wako. That is the third step to go, to go to get your restoration. And the fourth step and the last step is repentance. Na ya nne ni kutubu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ukisapitia hao begine yote utubu maana unajua labda ni wapi ulijipinda na ni kwa nini ulijipinda. Repentance is the last step because you know why you bent. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na utapokea urejesho wako. And you shall get restoration. Sijui ni wapi ulikutana na mambo ikakupinda. I don't know it's where you get you got things and then you got bent. Sijui katika huduma uliokuwa nayo ni nini kilikufanya ukajipinda. I don't know in your ministry what made you bent. Sijui I don't know. Lakini neno la Bwana limetuelekeza vizuri. But the word of God has directed us. Na katika hatua utakacho zichukua kupokea urejesho wako. The steps that you will take for you to get your restoration. Na si tukazidi kumtumikia Bwana. And so that we may continue in serving the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Na kama vile neno tulisoma mwanzo katika kitabu cha Yoeli. And the first word we read in the book of Joel. Pili hapo ukimalizia mstari wa 27. 
Joel 2 and verse 27 and my people will never be ashamed again and the bible said ya kwamba watu wangu hawataibika milele hallelujah amen my people will never be ashamed again watu wangu hawataibika tena you are there you have been ashamed in many ways and uko, in many areas uko mahali pale umeibishwa kwa mambo mengi The Lord is telling us this morning that his people will never be ashamed again. Mungu anatuambia kwamba watu wangu hawataibika tena. May you receive your restoration from today. Pokea urejesho wako. May you receive your restoration. Pokea urejesho wako. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God continue to be with you. Na Mungu awe pamoja na wewe. May the spirit work in you. Roho mtakatifu afanye kazi na wewe. May the spirit lead you. Roho mtakatifu akuongoze. May you receive your restoration from this time pokea urejesho wako in the mighty name of jesus christ amen may god help us all na mungu atusaidie wote bless us all na mungu atubariki wote as we wait for our restoration tunapongojea kurejeshe wako wetu in the name of jesus christ kwa jina la yesu i want to welcome our reverend nitamkaribisha reverend wetu so that he may continue from there na ili aweze kuendelea kutoka mahali pale receive your restoration in the mighty name of jesus pokea urejesho wako Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You can say it louder than that. Hallelujah. I can't hear you well. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God bless you so much our dear sister for the wonderful message. Bwana kubariki sana dada yetu kwa ujumbe mzuri ule. That the Lord has given to you today for us. Ambao Bwana amekupa siku ya leo kwa ajili yetu. We work very hard on a daily basis. Ah, kila wakati tunafanya bidii sana because we feel that there is something that we need but we have not yet achieved kwamba tunaamini ya kwamba kuna jambo ambalo tunahitaji na bado hatujaipata and some of the things that the lord gave to us na mambo baadhi ya mambo ama ama vitu ambavyo Mungu ametupa they did not last long aiku kama muda mrefu because the enemy is never happy when we are blessed maana adui adui hafurahii tukibarikiwa some of us had very good families wengine wetu tulikuwa na jamii nzuri but nowadays you are not happy anymore in that family lakini siku hizi hauna tena furaha katika hiyo ndoa katika hiyo ndoa others have very had very good businesses wengine wetu tulikuwa na biashara nzuri sana but nowadays they are making losses lakini wakati huu biashara inaendelea kudidimia Others used to be very healthy. Wengine wamekuwa walikuwa na afya nzuri but today they are struggling healthy wise. Lakini kwa wakati huu uh, hali ya kiafya imedidimia. And therefore I want to confirm that this is a timely message. Kwa hiyo nataka kusema ya kwamba huu ni ujumbe wa wakati. Oh you can shout hallelujah. Eh hey, sema hallelujah. Because I don't think there is anyone in our midst. Eh siamini kwamba kuna mmoja wetu katikati yetu who has not lost something. Ambaye hajapoteza chochote. Something that was so dear to you. Kitu ambacho ilikuwa ni cha maana sana kwake. Hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. And it is clear from the word of God. Na kwamba ni dhahiri kupitia neno la Bwana. Not all infirmities, not all sicknesses are natural. Sio uh, uh, maadhi yote ama magonjwa yote ambayo ni ya kawaida. Yeah. Maybe you are sick. Iwezekana uwe mgonjwa. From that word of God in the book of Luke chapter 13. Kutoka kwa neno la Mungu katika Luka mlango wake wa 13. It is very clear that some sicknesses are not natural. Ni dhahiri kwamba magonjwa mengine sio ya kawaida. Because the Bible is telling us that it is an evil spirit. Maana Biblia ilitwambia kwamba uh, imetokana na pepo mchafu that had made this woman for 18 years not to be able to straighten up kwamba ilimpinda huyo mwanamke kwa miaka ya miaka 18 bwana asifiwe oh hallelujah bwana asifiwe praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah but 
Joel is telling us that rejoice in the Lord your God. Lakini Joel anatuambia kwamba tufurahi katika Bwana. You can tell your neighbor that rejoice in the Lord your God. Mwambie jirani yako mfurahie Bwana Mungu wako. For he gives you autumn rains in righteousness. Ah maana anatupea kushinda katika haki. Autumn rains. Mfua, mfua ya ya ya. ya ya masika anatupea mvua ya masika kwa wakati yes and yes. when the bible speaks in righteousness kwa hiyo biblia inavyozungumzia katika haki it means that he gives us that rain in optimum measure ni kwamba anatupatia hiyo mvua kwa kiwango mzuri yes not the rain that will be destructive si mvua mbaya itakuwa na uharibifu and not the rain that will not be enough si mvua ambaye haitatutosha but the rain that will produce a bounty harvest ni mvua ambao utalete mazao mazuri and he promised na aliahidi whatever that was destroyed by locusts chochote ambacho iliharibiwa na nzige the great locusts nzige wale wakubwa even the young locusts hata wale wadogo even the swarm of locusts hata kikundi cha nzige he said i will restore anasema ya kwamba atarejesha praise the name of the lord jina la bwana litukuzwe i don't know what you lost in your life sijui ni nini ambacho umepoteza katika maisha yako and until today you feel that you need it back hadi sasa bado tunasikia kwamba ninatamani rejeshwe this is your time hii ni wakati wako maybe you had given up on that thing yawezekana uh, umefika mwisho mvunjika moyo kwa sababu ya jambo hilo like peter had done when they were fishing the whole night kama petro wakati ule ambao walikuwa kivua samaki usiku kucha and it, when it was daybreak and they had nothing kulipo kucha asubuhi hawakuwa na chochote they gave up that exercise walifunjika moyo na wakawacha ile shughuli but when the lord appeared and told them put your net on this side lakini bwana alitokea na akamwambia kwamba rejesha tu panyavu zako kwa upande ule mwingine peter said to him akapita akamwambia yesu we have struggled the whole night tumefanya kazi ya kuchosha usiku wote but by your word lakini kwa neno lako nitarudi haleluya so maybe you had given up on that family uwezekano umechoka na hiyo jamii on that business hiyo biashara imekuchosha maybe even on your health you are waiting for that day when you'll die hata katika afya yako ume, umefika mwisho na tunaongoja kifo sasa Or don't you know that some f- uh, healthy problems have persisted to the point that we have given up all hopes of being healed. Najua wakati mwingine katika hali ya ugonjwa ama hali maumivu katika mwili inaenda mpaka unafika mwisho unavunjika moyo. Until we have gotten to the point of possessing that infirmity we say ile ugonjwa yangu. Mpaka sasa unakaa unasema hii sasa hii ugonjwa ni ile yangu. The Lord has spoken to you this morning. Bwana amenena nawe asubuhi ya leo. And he is telling us anatuambia hivi nitarejesha amen oh hallelujah oh hallelujah god is telling us what you can say it like you mean it and like you believe it he is telling us what i will, I will restore hallelujah i will do what i will restore and when this comes from the mouth of god na neno hili ambalo ikitoka katika kinywa cha bwana you better take it seriously chukua sana kwa makini because it is just like he says it uh, ni kwamba ni hivyo tu ndiye amesema haleluya amen it is just like he does what ni kama tu jinsi amesema he says it amesema hivyo he is the one who called people back to life who are dead for four days like Lazarus ni Mungu anarejesha watu baada ya kufa siku nne kama Lazaro something that human hands could not do kitu ambacho mikono ya mwanadamu haiwezi fanya so it doesn't matter how was your condition is haijalishi kiwango ya ulibifu ambayo hali yako imefikia if it is the lord who is talking about restoration you better believe it kama ni bwana ananena kuhusu rejesho basi amini if it is the rito who is telling you about restoration okay you can way and say maybe kama ni never anakuambia kuhusu rejesho chukua kwa kiasi yeah, pima pima angalia Okay yeah, listen to this if it is the rito who is telling you about restoration you can say maybe maybe not 
kama ndiye na kuambi, uh, reverend ndio kuambia unapima una unaona inawezekana ni kweli even our president he is the one who was talking about the restoration you can say what maybe kama ni kiongozi wetu rais wetu unasema inawezekana why are you not speaking to me maybe maybe not because we are all human being but when we speak of the lord lakini tunaponena kuhusu bwana we speak of certainty tunanena uwezo mkuu certainty uhakika we speak of certainty brethren tunanena kuhakika we speak of assurance kwa uhakikisho that whatever he says kwamba chochote anasema he will do atatenda hallelujah amen he will do atatenda Let us be on our feet so that we may pray. Naomba tuseme kwa miguu yetu tuweze kuomba. I have no other god but you. I have no other god but you. I have no other god. I have no other god but you. I have no other god I have no other god but you I have no other god I have no other god but you Oh I have no other god but you I have no other god I have no other god but you I have no other god but you Oh you have done what no man has done no man can do you have done you have done what no man can do you will do you will do what no man can do you have done you
Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift our holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So our holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the name, Blessed be the name, Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are there, my brother and my sister. You once had a very good health. But nowadays, you are on and off. You need restoration for your health. You once had a very united family. But nowadays you are not together anymore. Do not give up on what the enemy has taken from you. Seize this moment. Seize this moment. All get hold of this moment. And Tell the Lord, let's talk to me 
this. You once had a booming business. Wakati mwingine ulikuwa na biashara nzuri. But nowadays you can hardly make maybe 500 shillings a day. Na wakati biashara imedidimia kwamba hata kupata shilingi 500 kwa siku inakuwa ngumu. See this moment. Bwana shika na wakati huu. And tell the Lord I'm standing before your presence by Ma- your word. Mwambie Bwana nasimama mbele zako kwa neno lako. You restored that woman who could not straighten up for Ulure- 18 years. Ulirejesha afya yule mwanamke ambao hakuweza kujinyoosha kwa miaka 18. Touch this area of my life today. Baba gusa sehemu hii ya maisha yangu sasa. Oh in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. You can lift up your hand or just come over and stand here because I feel that we should now pray for you and pray together with you. You are telling the Lord restore this, restore that. Restore the in, the, in the name of Jesus. Reason to the order that the Lord gave to the Israelites. He told them I will restore that which was destroyed by locust. Aliwaambia nitarejesha iliyo iliyo sansua na na nzige. Destroyed by locust. Ambayo imeharibiwa na nzige. And I will restore that which was re- destroyed by the great locust. Na nitarejesha ili iliharibiwa na nzige wale wakubwa. Palale. I think Kingeres so I didn't ask you parade something. Yeah. And I will restore that which was destroyed by young locust na nitarejesha iliyo sawa na mandu mandu that is to say locust invaded their land kwamba hii inaonesha kwamba iliingia katika nchi yao ama nchi zao they fend on their crop ikaingia katika mimea ama mavuno yao they became very big locust ikawa nzige wakubwa now that is the second level hiyo ni hatua ya pili Those big locusts gave birth to young ones. Ah nzige wakubwa tena wakazao wengine wadogo. So the young ones also continued to destroy their crop. Hayo wale wazili walizaliwa wadogo wakaendelea kuharibu ile ile chakula. And now the young ones became too many and now the Bible says I will restore even that which was destroyed by the swarms of locusts. Hayo wale wadogo pia wakaongezeka wakawa wengi sana. Ni Bwana anasema kwamba nitarejesha yote iliharibiwa hata na, na ule ukuu wote ile nzige wadogo. That is to say the Lord was promising them perfect and complete restoration. Ile ni, uh, ni kusema kwamba Bwana alikuwa anawahakikishia kwamba atarejeshea urejesho kamili. Hii nzige palale madumadu ni it is levels of locust. Hii ilikuwa ni, ni hatua ya wale nzige Hallelujah. He can do the same to us today. Anaweza tena hivi hata kwetu siku ya leo. Come forward if you need restoration in any area of your life as we Jo mbele kama unahitaji urejesho kwa simu yote katika maisha yako. Hallelujah. Amen. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood there is power mighty in the blood of jesus christ there is power just remain standing in the blood if you want to kneel down you can kneel. Oh, there is power mighty in the blood there is power mighty in the blood there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ there is power mighty in the blood Church, you can lift up your hands to answer my dear brothers and sisters. Who are kneeling down before the Lord Jesus' name. As you say, Lord, we do great things to you. Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. I give you praise because you are going to restore the lives of our brothers in Jesus' name. You are going to give the blood of Jesus' name. Oh, the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of God.
the most high. I want to thank you, King of all the earth, because you do not speak to past times. And you are going to do good to the young ones who are living down in the world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. On your feet, and lift up you on both hands. And I'm going to make a prayer to the Lord for you and on your behalf. And I know that the Lord will answer your prayers in Nana, Jesus' name. I request if you are seated down and uh, you can be able to stand. Please stand. Let us make this prayer together in one, in, 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 in one accord. Believe with me that whatever these dear ones are, are, are requesting the Lord to restore, God we restore in Jesus' name. Oh, in Jesus' name. Lift up your hand towards our dear ones in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When uh, the, that son of David, Solomon, took over leadership from his father, Amen. you appeared to him in a dream. And you gave him a golden chance where you told him to ask whatever that he needed from you. Amen. And this man asked for wisdom. You were pleased by his request mm -hmm. and promised to give him even riches and protection from his enemies. Amen. Oh Lord, when we read about that, we consider Solomon a fortunate and someone who was favored by you. Yes. But we have been given by you, Lord Jesus, the same golden opportunity. Yes. Because in the book of Matthew, you are telling us that when we ask, it shall be given to us. Yes. And when we seek, by your grace we shall find. Amen. And you also promised any door that we shall knock, that door shall be opened for Amen. us. Jesus. You are talking to us this morning about restoration. Yes. And your daughters and sons now, by what you have spoken unto us and by believing in it, are standing before you. Jesus. Lifting up their hands, they are asking you, to restore certain things in their lives. They are seeking a restoration of their joy. A restoration of their once harmonious and united families. They are seeking the restoration of their once good health. Of their once good business. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I pray that now they may receive it back. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is you who is telling us that you will restore. And you are telling us to rejoice in you, God, our Lord. I pray that you may restore joy and peace in the life of these ones. Restore their good health. 
Bring back their good families. Amen. Bring back their good businesses. Amen. Bring back their united families. Amen. To the glory and honor of your holy name. Amen. You do not speak to pastime. Yes, you do not speak like politicians. Amen. You speak reality. Yes, you speak assurance. Yes. You are certain that what you have promised you will keep to that promise. Yes. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. I pray that whatever they are asking you to bring them, to bring it back to them, yes. may they receive it now. Amen. Receive now. Amen. Receive now. Amen. Receive now. Amen. Receive your health Amen. back. Amen. Receive your businesses Amen. back. Amen. Receive your good families Amen. back. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and we believe. Amen. 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 You may be seated believing that the Lord has done it for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let us put our hands together for the speaker of the day. God bless you so much, dear sister. And now lift up our hands together and put them together for the Holy Spirit for, 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 for speaking to us in a wonderful way this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. I believe that from next Sunday, we shall have testimonies because the Lord is now beginning that business of restoring to us that which the enemy took from us. You can say amen to that. Hallelujah. Amen. I request now our elder Bernard to come over with the announcement uh, file to give us the announcement of the day. And then after that, I will come and we shall correct our offerings. And after that, we shall give a, a chance to those who have their prayers today. Then our first service will come to an end. We are still on our time. We are not late. We thank God. Let us put our hands together for our elder.
end, one of the ushers will hand it over to you. But Deacon, Deacon Richard, please look to those hands that are being raised if you do not have a hymn book. And we shall worship the Lord through hymn number 55, which says, I am not ashamed of the Lord. Hymn number 55, I am not ashamed of the Lord. All in Swahili, Sioni Haya Kwabwan. Hymn number 55. To those who have their tithe, please lift it up. I would request Baba Masi to pray for it in Jesus' name. Just, just, just wait, wait, Baba Masi, ninaona kuna watu bado hawajanda. Na viongozi mjiandae kwa hiyo imbo siyoni haya kwa buwana. If you are ready, if you have gotten your tithe ready, please lift it up. Lift it up with your right hand. And I will ask Baba Masi now to pray for it. Hallelujah. Baba wetu na mungu wetu. Yes. Tualinua jina lako asubuhi ya leo. Amen. Tuasema wewe ndiye baba yetu na yeah. kuna mwingine wa kufananishwa na wewe juu yes. mungu wetu. Asubuhi ya leo Bwana tangia tulipoingia katika nyumba hii Jehova Mungu wa rehema umekuwa pamoja nasi. Amen. Umekuwa wa baraka katika maisha yetu umetunenea mm. ujumbe wa ajabu. Yes. Jehova Mungu wetu tuna jambo la kukushukuru na kukuinua. Amen wapendwa wamekuja na katika nyumba yako Jehova Mungu wa rehema na fungu la kumi. Yes. Tuainua mbele zako asubuhi ya leo. Yes. Twajua kwamba Bwana wewe wajua biashara zetu, wajua mapato yetu Jehova Mungu wetu. Yes. Baba wa rehema na wakusi Jehova Mungu wa mbinguni. Yes. Ili Bwana ukaingililie kati Jehova. Amen. Ukazidi kulete mafanikio katika yes. kila pato ambao limeletwe katika nyumba yako Bwana. Yes. Likazidi kuongezeka mfalme. Yes. Ili katika nyumba yako Bwana kusikatikane chochote mfalme. Yes. Bali Bwana wa majeshi zikazidi kuongezeka. Yes. Asante ni kwa sababu utatenda. Yes. Tunakuheshimu na kusema asante. Yes. Basha hiyo twainua mbele zako. Yes. Taomba Bwana ukaibariki. Yes. Asante maana itabarikiwa. Yes. Kwa jina la Yesu naomba na kushukuru. Amen. Amen. I would now request you lift up your offerings and Elder Joseph Mudombe will pray for it in Jesus' name. Tuombeni. Baba wetu na mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu, tunalibaliki jina lako asubuhi hii ya leo. Yes. Kwa sema asanti kwa wema na fadhili zako nyingi juu ya maisha yetu. Yes. Asanti kwa kutupa nafasi ya kufika katika mlimani huu ambao inaitanishwa na jina lako. Yes. Mwokozi hatujakuja mikono mitupu. Mm. Tumekuja na sehemu ya pesa ambazo umetupatia mwokozi yes. ili iwe sadaka kwa ajili ya nyumba yako. Yes. Kwa ikabidi mikononi mwako sadaka hii yes. ukaibariki katika jina la Yesu yes. na ukatubariki kama sisi mwokozi jinsi tumejitolea kukutolea. Yes. Ukabariki biashara zetu na mapato yetu yes. kwa utukufu wa jina lako yes. utuinue katika viwango balibali yes. na utuinue katika kuto, utoaji wa, wa sadaka yes. katika jina la Yesu yes. pokea sifa mokosi na utukufu mm. maana zote ni zako yes. na ni katika jina kura Yesu tumeomba amen amen i would like to in that juncture to appreciate our daughter Mercy do you know do you remember Mercy the daughter to our church elder Mercy secured a job in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Rongo towards, I don't, towards where, Megori border, I think. And she has sent her tithe and her thanksgiving. Let us appreciate her for that. So our dear children, when you go out there and God blesses you, with some proceeds from your work, remember your mother church. Amen. But now we, together with her father, have advised her. Actually, her father advised her now. She can send the first tithe and thanksgiving. And then from the second salary, 
she will now be giving to the church, our full gospel church in that area where she is fellowshipping. And that is in order uh, according to the scripture, Buana's theory. So I was very happy when I received her phone call informing me that she has sent her tithe and thanksgiving. Let us lift our hands and say, may the Lord bless her wherever Amen. she is. In Jesus' name. Deacons and deaconesses, kindly do the needful and do it quickly. See ya kwa bwana kwa keni tangara mti wa sita Salaba, salaba, Dios, así le amaba. So Peter na sasa amerejea tumpigie makofi na sasa amekuja na rafikie